Okay, so Twitch streaming is returning to the Xbox dashboard. Now obviously Microsoft removed this a while ago, so it's actually returning into the dashboard for alpha and skip ahead alpha testers right now. So if you're one of those testers, you can go into the guide, you scroll across to the capture and share section, and you go down to this new option, which is live streaming. What we'll do is we'll start one of the sort of like test streams here. Um, and once this loads, I'll show you some of the options that are available for like Twitch. So obviously instantly it loads up. If you've already connected your account in the settings, then you will have your Twitch profile at the top here and obviously a link to your stream and the ability just to instantly go live. Um, you can also toggle microphone on and off if you've got a microphone set up. The most important stuff is under more options here. So you can go in here, you can change the game volume if you want that to be a little bit lower than your mic. Um, you can obviously adjust the microphone volume as well. And then you can change the resolution and the bit rate. So you can go all the way up to 1080p or all the way down to 360p if you, you know, want to do that. Um, you can also change where the overlay is. So this overlay is what you see. So it will tell you how long you've been uh, streaming for, how many people are watching, all that sort of stuff. You can freely move that around. Now, if you have a webcam plugged in, and I think most USB sort of plug and play webcams will support this. If you have one plugged in, you can obviously position that. Um, there's a, the ability to move it around on the screen to, you know, so your viewers will see you uh, when you're streaming. Um, but yeah, the, the only other option is party audio as well. So if you're playing with friends, um, you want to have their party audio involved, you can also tick that in the live streaming options here. And that's pretty much about it, really. Um, the only other option is just to, to go live. It's pretty simple. Um, I'd say this is very accessible for most people. Um, and that was a real quick look at Twitch streaming returning to the Xbox dashboard. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.